this is Sharon from the library to share more stories. Let's do stories today about libraries and books and reading. Libraries are fabulous places because they're full of all kinds of books that you can read. But books and reading are good anywhere and anytime. But before we share our stories, we need to have our good morning song. Are you ready? Let's do it. Here we go. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With the friends of story time, we wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With the friends of story time, we wave and sing hello. Today we're doing stories about libraries and books and reading. This is a fun one to start with. It's called, I Took My Frog to the Library by Eric Kimmel. Do you think you would take a frog to the library? I don't know. I took my frog to the library. But he jumped on the checkout desk and scared the librarian. I took my chicken to the library. But she laid an egg in the card catalog. I took my pelican to the library. But he hid the dictionary in his pouch and no one could find it. I took my snake to the library, but she shed her skin over all the picture books. Ugh. I took my giraffe to the library, but he tried to read over everybody's shoulder. I took my hyena to the library, but he laughed so loud during story time that nobody could hear the story. I took my elephant to the library. My elephant is very well behaved. She stacked her, stacked her books neatly on the checkout desk. She asked the librarian's help when she needed it. She listened to the story and laughed in all the right places. But my elephant is very big. So big. So big. So big. She wrecked the library. The librarian said, Bridget, you are always welcome in the library, but the next time you come to the library, please leave your pets at home. So now, whenever I go to the library, my frog stays home, my chicken stays home, my pelican stays home, my snake stays home, my giraffe stays home, my hyena stays home, and my elephant reads to them. The end. Now, it's great to have a favorite book, but sometimes you need a good place to sit and read it. And that's what this story is about. The Best Place to Read by Debbie Bertram and Susie Bloom. A new book for me. I can't wait to read. I run to my own little chair. I'm growing too tall and the seat is too small, so I am not comfortable there. Into the den, that's a good place to read. I love Grammy's soft, cozy chair. But said the, so does Old Rover. I tell him, move over, but he won't make room for me there. Daddy's chair must be magic. The seat can move up and back and down in a big leather chair. A cool, windy feeling, the fan on the ceiling is spinning and blasting cold air. Snack time, I'm hungry. I'll read in the kitchen. Baby's booster is next to my chair. The table's so sticky, my hands get all icky. Yuck, why would I want to read there? Grandpa looks comfy whenever he reads in his lumpy and bumpy old chair. The book drops to my feet when the spring pokes through the seat. I bounce high up in the air. Upstairs, I'll read in my big brother's room. I flop on his round beanbag chair. Surprise, I yell eek as the chair springs a leak. There are beans and more beans everywhere. Her Highness, the princess, that's my big sis, a gold seat like a throne is her chair. But her stereo is singing and her telephone's ringing too loud. Who could ever read there? 
So back down the stairs, oh, where can I read? An antique old wood rocking chair? Like a rocking machine, I feel seasick and green. I have to go out for some air. The backyard is great. I can sit on the grass. I'll sit on a patio chair. It's the sprinklers. Oh no, splashing me head to toe. Now it's too wet to read there. I dry myself off. I give up. I can't read. I try to sit down everywhere. With no reading done, I'm still on page one. I can't find a comfortable chair. Mommy, oh mom, can I sit on your lap? I love it so much when we share. The best place to be, just my book, mom, and me, at last, in a comfortable chair. The end. Now, one more story, a silly story about libraries, books, and reading. It's called Book, Book, Book by Deborah Bruss. Down at the farm, all was well until the children went back to school and the animals had nothing to do. They had no rides to share, no tug of war to play, no one to scratch behind their ears or ruffle their feathers. In the bright morning sun, the horse hung his head. <sighs> the cow complained. The goat grumbled. The pig pouted, hmm. the duck dozed off, and the chicken heaved a sigh. <sighs> Long about noon, when the sun was high above the barnyard, the chicken squawked, I'm bored, and I'm heading to town to find something to do. The animals followed her down the road. Look, said the chicken, happy faces. This must be the place we're looking for. I'll go in and see if I can find something to do. Nay, nay, said the horse. You're too small for such a big job. Leave it to me. The horse clipped clocked in. Politely he asked for something to do, but the librarian couldn't understand the horse. All she heard was, nay, nay. So the horse hung his head and clip clopped out. Next, the cow plotted in. Politely, she asked for something to do, but the librarian couldn't understand the cow. All she heard was moo. So the cow complained moo and plotted out. Now it was Goat's turn and he trotted in. Politely, he asked for something to do, but the librarian couldn't understand the goat. All she heard was bah, bah. So the goat grumbled bah, and trotted out again. Slowly the pig ambled into the library. Politely she asked for something to do. But all the librarian heard was oink, oink, oink. So the pig ambled out to tell her friends. Up flapped the chicken. She said, I'm going in and no one's going to stop me. And into the library she flapped. Book? Politely, the hen clucked. The library looked around and, what's that noise? Book, book? Clucked the chicken. The library scratched her head. Who's that? She asked. Book, 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 book? Clucked the chicken quite clearly. Oh, is this? What you wanted asked the librarian and she handed the chicken three books happily they all returned to the farm excited to have something to do back at the farm the horse the cow the goat the pig the duck and the chicken gathered around the books the barnyard was filled with nays and moos mas oinks Wax, 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 and books, books, books. Their sounds of delight lasted until sundown. All the animals were happy, except for the frog. 
And do you know what he said? He said, I already read it, read it, read it, read it. The end. So here is a fun craft you can do for libraries and books and reading. You're going to make a book in a box. This is something I learned from the Dixon Gallery. You take a box, it can be any size, but I like big because it's easier to show. And you take a piece of paper. It can be long or short, but long is better. You're going to fold it into pieces like this. And you'll glue one side to the bottom of the box. Like this. And the other end you'll glue to the top of the box. And when the glue dries, you've got a book in a box. But what's wrong with this? There's nothing in this book. So let me show you one that my goddaughters and I did together. This is one my godson did called the spider. You can draw pictures and tell a story. And this one is another one. These are just examples. Yours will be much better. We're decorated and the story is about a seed that landed on the hill. You tell your story and then decorate the cover of your book and you're done. A book in a box. Before we end, let's have our goodbye song. Are you ready? Here we go. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Roll them just like this. Shake them, shake them, shake them them, shake them, blow a little kiss. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, try to touch the sky. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, time to wave goodbye. Bye-bye from the library and stories. See you again soon.